Okay, so y'all get up to the front of the, the warehouse, and what are you doing from there? Gilly's going to make hand gestures. It's Maisie. <laughs> Brina's going to light it on fire. <laughs> Did you not read the handbook? The was... literal handbook. Wait, you got a, nobody gave me a handbook. So Maisie's going to run up and she's going to examine what's in the cart, figuring other people are tracking down these people. Not do a deep search. I'm just going to flip open a couple boxes really quick. I mean, if it's something like shoes or something, I'm going to be like, oh, and I'm going to then try to start running again. But I just want to confirm what it is. So things are on fire right now and the cart's on fire. I'll Um, I'll take my knife and I'll flick the the (laughs) lids off of boxes. Yeah, okay. So go ahead and roll me investigation. Okay. We should get the little mini fire and put there. Is that an elemental? No, not that one, the puffy one. <laughs> I meant the puffy one, but that's okay. I don't know where the puffy one is. So, um, yeah, looking through it, you see a lot of odds and ends, kind of, kind of weird looking things. Like uh, you see some smaller little uh, uh, clocks, like small grandfather clocks. You see uh, small little stools. Um, you see uh, various different books. Uh, there's a mm-hmm. couple of chests that are full of... Um, some strange looking maybe lab equipment, but most of it's shattered now because of the cart tipping over. This looks like a, a similar stuff to what uh, was in Frederick's room where all his antiquities were. Is any of this stuff moving or screaming because it's on fire? Nothing is moving or screaming. I want to stab one of the, the pieces <laughs> uh, after I flower coat my knife. <laughs> Um, so there's a book on the ground that's not quite caught fire. You stab down into the leather binding on it, um, and your knife just goes through leather and paper. There's nothing. You can take it out. It doesn't get stuck. I'm going to take the book for now, mm-hmm. and then I'm going to uh, start proceeding to chase like everybody else after my – this. Okay. I'm going to do this as quick as I can and then try to help my friends if need be. Do you want to look in the book really quick or no? While I'm running. Okay. Uh, what about the rest of you four? Gilly would totally be chasing after the perp because they're fleeing the scene of an accident, which she knows is definitely not <laughs> <laughs> okay. allowed. Sylvan is also going to dash. But he doesn't have heels. Yeah, so it doesn't look as cool. So as Sylvan is running, you guys can just tell that he he's worried because realizing that these, all these connections and all these, these have not just been random interactions he's realizing. And so as you guys are watching him run, you just see that he's focused on getting to the person. I want to use thaumaturgy to make a little earthquake and make him trip. How far away can you cast that from yourself? 30 feet. He, it, you said he was about that far away. So he stumbles, and I'm going to say it, it causes him to lose half his movement speed. I got a 24. As long as, long as you beat her spell save DC, then you'll be able to... What was your spell save? 13. Oh, yeah. And Gilly? Totally falls on her face. <laughs> no, it's, it's those the new, new shoes. shoes. New shoes. I'm not used to wearing shoes. <laughs> yeah, I'm for the back end. I got a 24 anyways, yeah. so... Maisie just kind of... With the movement, she's just like she's dancing. doing some dance move that you know. <laughs> Her ballet ba- training, ballet, yeah. So as a, <laughs> as a wave of dirt comes, you see, I just kind of like pirouette, <laughs> like like over it, and seeing Maisie with a look in her eyes and a knife in her hand, kind of do ballet, somehow causes us just a, a pang of fear or some sort of recognition in the back of your mind. Oh, maybe she is girly. Now it's back to you guys. How far ahead of us is he now? Um, he's about 30 or 40 feet ahead of you guys right now. Can I just kind of like leap on him and bear hug him? Um, he, he's very far away from you. See? He's well, like 40 I, feet in front well, of Well, if us. I dashed up to him and then... Fine, I'm just going to light him on fire. That's what you want. You're going to do a spell attack? Yeah. Okay. Just his shoes. It depends on your... 
your attack. 19. 19. <laughs> that, that will hit him, yes. <laughs> Roll your damage. What's your damage? 10, sorry. 10 damage? I forgot my bonus. Yeah, 10. He's not dead, is he? He's on fire. Yay! <laughs> and he's not moving. No! I don't know what else to do to catch him. <laughs> probably not light him on we fire. We probably should have spent more time collaborating <laughs> You're right. during the team initiative. <laughs> he liked ketchup on his scrambled eggs. What can I say? Is there is there water? <laughs> is, is there water in this? On this We're side by road, the dock. Like, is there There's not a, a lot. There's something? like a couple puddles here and there. I'll say you can find a stray bucket <laughs> if you want to use your action to do that. Okay. I We're, will. We're going to have to pee on him. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvan. Maisie can pee on him, but Sylvan is going to grab the stray bucket in the alleyway and just scoop up the water and just use his movement of 35 to get up to dump douse him in water and try to put him out can i do that yeah okay so yeah. then i'm just gonna throw the water on it's him. it's a loose initiative so it's like okay so i am i'm throwing water on him just to douse the fire okay he is still unmoving we'll check him for a pulse you're the one that's there I just don't want to do too much. I don't want to go beyond. I can I'm only move to... 15 feet because okay. someone caused an earthquake to cause me to fall <laughs> on my face. Well, someone at, at, just at, went at this, chaos, full at chaos. This point, when it's like we're out of initiative because he's down. <laughs> <laughs> so, so would I do a med? Would this be a medicine or an investigation check? Uh, it it'd be a medicine. Be a medicine check. Who has good medicine? I only have plus one. Akima. I have plus two. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well, okay. Carrie has lay on hands, right? Oh, I do. Right? You yeah. Can, you can yeah. make him not dead. <laughs> well, it doesn't work like that. He's oh. only mostly dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I don't have good medicine. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll just, so, I'll do a medicine, medicine check. Medicine check, Kim. What'd you get? <laughs> Nat 20, baby. Nice. Nice. Yeah, he's dead. No! Oh. <laughs> this is why no one likes tieflings. Do you recognize him? Leave me alone. <laughs> Investigation. I don't think... Um, are that... you going to roll him over? Yes. Okay, you roll him over. You look at his face. You don't know who he is. Rowena, get over here. Macy's up there, and now I'm going through all his his pockets. I'm looking for some sort of uh, anything that would uh, identify him. I mean, the uh, traveling papers, receipts, ledgers, journals, and I'm also looking for identifying tattoos, birthmarks, anything like that that I, I could use. And if he has any coin on him, I'm, I'm also robbing him. Like Rolexes, rings, I'll take gold fillings. I mean, <laughs> we, we got to pay for this somehow. It's We're not like the March of Dimes, you know? So. You should... I mean, you should. This I know this is out of game, but you should also check out his teeth, and if they're vampire teeth, you should. Oh no, that's why I'm yeah. the yeah. fillings yeah. and everything. I'm Go looking ahead and yeah. roll investigation. Okay. I'm sorry. I we needed to catch him, and fire's my natural instinct. <laughs> so I, I have a a sixteen, and I'm I'm trying to be extra thorough and whatnot. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you go through, um, you find, um, we'll say about 10 pieces of silver, mm -hmm. uh, two pieces of gold, uh, about 20 copper. Uh, you find uh, a, like a small journal um, and then another small rolled up parchment paper in his belt. Um, and then kind of looking over for any uh, markings uh, on his wrist, on his left wrist, mm -hmm. you see a crescent moon with a crown at the top of the crescent. And aside from that, there's not much else on him. He had a small knife on his side. Uh, his teeth are pretty bad and rotted. There's no gold fillings or anything like that. Nothing, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, how about Rolex? How many, did he have any Rolexes? <laughs> oh, did he, he had all the Rolexes. <laughs> okay. His entire arm was just covered in Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna buy a sundial? <laughs> <laughs> Who's a Rolex but they're all salesman. missing hands. <laughs> <laughs> um... 
that that tattoo would would we recognize that from anything in the um, city? Roll a history check, you guys, if you want to. See if you can figure it out. I feel like a chemo would have been useful here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so you guys would recognize this as the most re- uh, uh, the most recent group that's been pr- propping up inside of Salago as the Moon Lords. Moon Lords. I think just, just as I feared. Just killed a vampire. Had to fight a Star Lord once. Maybe it wasn't a vampire. Maybe it was like a were goat or something. It's a completely new group that you don't know about yet. Oh. Okay. They've been propping up as like a gang kind of deal. But as far as you know, there's no affiliation with them and the vampires. Just so you know, this, this guy is like naked now. So like Maisie's not, you know. Oh, yeah, he's down to his skivvies. Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, no, he doesn't have skivvies on either. Um, and then uh, that, that, little, that little patch that has that, that symbol, Maisie is cutting it off of him. But she's cutting it off the particular pattern that she's using. It looks like a puzzle piece. Mm-hmm that she draws uh, or around it, and then she peels off the skin and she puts it in a little book. So you faintly hear, like almost coming from behind you, Maisie, Maisie, give me your answer to. My head dips and my eyes look up, doing the Kubrick stare and I, Slowly I turned to pivot where the noise is coming from. I'm half crazy over the love of you. As, and I s- s- scrape my knife along something metal so it makes like a Freddy Krueger sort of sound. Will we notice this? You, you see her do that. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Got some 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 stuff going on, don't you, Maisie? Shh, I'm hunting demons. Okay. Or spirits, or maybe something non-corporeal. Um, do you need our help? Hmm. No. The how this works is it's gonna mess with me for a while, trying to make me afraid or drive me crazy with little sounds and movements and things like that. And eventually it'll get more and more aggressive. So right now it's just in the playful phase, but I'll, I'll let you know if it gets more than that. <laughs> Got it. Playful phase. Gilly walks over to Rowena and hands her three citations. One for <laughs> lighting fire on into public property. <laughs> one for causing an accident and another one for uh, manslaughter. <laughs> That's being deducted from your pay. <laughs> wait, Maisie's got, uh, not Maisie. I'm wait, not Maisie. <laughs> mur- wait, murder is only a citation here? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> only a citation? <laughs> Rowena's well, gonna light him on fire. Huh. And stick her tongue out at Gilly. Um, Gilly, as you hand out the citations, your medallion starts to glow. Maisie, I think you might be right that there might be something corporeal. Yeah, incorporeal. Incorporeal. So as it starts to glow, and only you can see this, uh, you can kind of see the spirit of the man start to leave the body. And he stands up and he looks kind of confused and he's his spirit looks very charred. <laughs> <laughs> as his body is like crumbling to dust and he, even his spirit, like it looks like he's starting to crumble away. And he looks at you and he reaches out his hand towards you. He doesn't need my help because if he's crumbling away. Re- redeem yourself quick. Tell me. Who you work for. Yeah, who you work for. The, the Moon Lords? They sent me to collect. Collect what? The payment that was due. You're very cryptic. What do you mean? <laughs> they all owed money. And then... The spirit crumbles away, and your medallion stops glowing. The Moon Lords are, have been formed to collect a payment. What payment? I don't know. Well, the cart had a bunch of antiques and stuff like that in it, and it had uh, a, a, a book. And so we're, we're probably going to need it. It's not a mimic, by the way. I stabbed it. <laughs> and it had some, like, old clocks and, and stuff like that in, in, in the back. You know, just like stuff that would have been at that other guy's 
you know, house, you know, how he bought like antiques and they turned out to be mimics and they, they ate them except for like his finger or something like that. Um, well, well, yeah. Very matter of factly, I love it. <laughs> DM question. Yes. Would Rowena know anything about the moon bloods based upon moon her lords. moon blood lords? Moon blood lords. <laughs> That's such a They cool, aren't vampires. The blood moon lords. <laughs> moon lords. lords. They're not vampires or the, it, are they vampires? There has been no connections made between them and the vampires as of yet. Rowena wouldn't know anything about them then based on her backstory. No. That's all I was asking. I still think they're lycanthropes and we just killed a were-goat. It's fine. <laughs> I'm going to be reading through the, the ledger that, that, I, that I found. Um, and so I'm going to try to see, you know, what, what's in it. Besides what it obviously says, I'm also going to be looking for secret little numbered corners and hidden little notes inside and, you know, the binding of the book. Does it come off to reveal some hidden map or note or something like that, um, you know, in, inside of it? Um, so the uh, little notebook that you took off of him, mm -hmm. um, as you start searching through it, there's a, a little... Um, little like slit inside of it so it could hold something in there like a little file holder right there mm -hmm. um as you look inside of there you pull it out th th there is a map of the docks here in Bayolor. um and then one in particular is, is xed and then it, it just says off to a drop zone um looking through the other paperwork you see uh multiple uh people listed in the notebook and things uh that were to be collected from them um, among them were Frederick uh, de Bergerac, mm -hmm. and there was also um, some other people that were noted in there as well that were in the dossier that you guys had received from Krothgar. Has any of the people on the list been on one of Maisie's lists? You know what? Yeah, one or two of them. And That, that you, I got them or meant to get them. <laughs> that you meant to get them. And uh, you know that at least one of these people was in the theater when Sylvan and uh, Gilianthia came and got you. So I, well, I, I go to Sylvan and I was like, you know, hey, look what I found. I found this in the cart. And I show him, I said, see, does this name look familiar? See this and see all these people? Mm -hmm. Oh, and this person, this person, they're on my to kill list. Those are the exact same names that were on her, that were in Hrothgar's dossier. They got to be pretty slippery because if I wasn't able to 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 get them, then they're uh, they got to be on the tricky side. I'm very persistent. So, oh. seems as though we know which dock we need to go explore. What did you want to say? I wanted to go back to the cart and see if there's anything else there that's not uh, <clears throat> ash. I rolled an eighteen to investigate. Well, seeming how none of you put the cart out, it's all pretty much destroyed. Cool. The only things that are left over is anything that would have, might have been metallic, but it's extremely hot. Cool. No, he said hot. <laughs> Maisie. <laughs> yes? I saw you pick up a parchment, a rolled parchment from the, from the man as well. Did you happen to recognize anything on that parchment? No, because I completely forgot about it until you mentioned it right now. Hold on. So she unrolls it. <laughs> Does Maisie, Maisie have ADHD too? <laughs> uh, I, I got a nine. Um, so on the parchment is an itemized list of the cost and value of each of the items that was on the cart. Oh. Mm -hmm. How so, much? So she, she gives it to you. Yeah, it's like a shopping list. The, it's how much money I destroyed. If you quickly add it all up, it's like over 15,000 gold. <laughs> cool. Good job, Rowena. <laughs> well, that would have helped us. If you don't want me to light things on fire, maybe you should tell me. I think as a general I think rule, I he, he was, probably doesn't want you to light people on fire. Yeah, that's true. I told you like three different times not to light things on fire or I'd give you a citation. You did give me a citation. For the garbage and the dude and the dude whose home I destroyed. <laughs> so I don't understand why you said we didn't tell you not to light things on fire. I just... <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> 
Well then, to clarify, if Gilly says not to light things on fire, consider it coming from me directly. Aye, aye, Captain. All right. Now, Maisie, let's head to the dock that's marked on that map. Wait, you're just taking Maisie? Am, no. I, am I grounded? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are grounded. You two, follow us. Gilly, your eyes must be on her 100% of the time. I have Maisie. There's this little part of Rowena that just really wants to light a couple of Sylvan's hairs on fire, but she knows that that's bad, so she's just going to spark in her hand, and she's going to say, no, and she'll just put it out and put her hand down. Don't try it, Rowena. I'm going to be better. I thought he was getting away, and I thought he was trying to kill us or was going to escape us. I don't know. Maisie hands you a list. And it says, questions to ask before you kill. <laughs> <laughs> what does which way the toilet paper goes on even have to do with any of this? These have been studied by by the best minds. So by you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. Thanks. This will be super helpful. <laughs> um, so you guys move on. You go to the uh, where or the dock that was marked on the map. You come to this ramshackle-looking warehouse. It's very dilapidated, um, very unkempt. Uh, it, there's actually a foreclosure sign on one of the windows. Um, and on the outside, there you can notice there's one window where the foreclosure sign is next to the main entrance. Um, and the building uh, has a, another window on, this, on each side uh, of the building. Um, so what are you guys doing from here? Well, I'm wondering what sort of price they're asking, because I mean, it's it's re rent's expensive in this city, and you know, this is a fixer upper, but you know, this I'm pretty economy, handy. Man. Yeah, this, this economy. <laughs> they were asking exactly fifteen thousand gold. <laughs> so, um, all right. Well, so I'm. I want to. It's got some rickety walkway going up to it, or and whatnot, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so I want to examine the wa walkway, any sort of thing where I could fall into an abyss or liquid or anything viscous or anything like that. Um, Maisie's going to have a little bit of caution on. So I'm going to investigate the bridge, and then I'm going to tread lightly, depending upon my result of that, over, and I want to peek in the window. Does she also stab each board to see if it's a mimic. <laughs> I got a uh, 17 as my highest. Um, okay, so as you walk along and you're just keeping an eye uh, close on the boards, you can you can tell which ones are going to give out, which ones are going to creak on you. And you're able to just do this little like ballerina dance across this little boardwalk and get across and you're able to do so without making a sound. I wanted that ballerina dance to be one of the creepiest things these people ever seen. So rather than a little girl being cute, just dancing across this, I want for some reason everybody to feel uncomfortable. Okay, you all feel uncomfortable now, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Maisie's going full on Total Eclipse of the Heart music video. Like. <laughs> like there's some weird gesturing going on. At one point she does this weird, like it almost sound, it seems like her back's gonna break as she goes over and does like a handstand <laughs> to get across the board. <laughs> Beautiful. C come on, Gary. <laughs> roll a performance. Demonstrate. <laughs> demonstrate. No, don't roll. De demonstrate. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> don't hurt yourself, please. <laughs> do you have a tutu? David, don't encourage okay, this behavior. All right, all right. Okay. I'll, do, I'll do something. Gary knows I'll do it, too. <laughs> okay. I don't. I don't. Um, <laughs> are the rest of you following Maisie? Are you hanging back? Or are you going... Elsewhere. Um, Rowena's going to follow Maisie and attempt to copy Maisie. And Rowena's going to make a performance check to see how well she copies Maisie. Okay, so roll both a stealth and a performance. All right, so for my stealth, I got a 12. And for my performance, I got a 11. So you try, but you're not near as flexible as Maisie <laughs> is. Uh, you, you try to do the backbend thing and try to get up on your hands and you just, and you finally get your feet up in the air and then you flop down. And you, you're still for a moment as you made a loud yeah, noise She's on just gonna hold really, really still. And Gilly and Sylvan are just still on the other side of the walkway. I whispered to Rowena, hey, 
you're ghosting us. Er, <laughs> you know, gotta be quiet. Sorry, at least I didn't light anything on fire this time. <laughs> and you wait for a second. Nothing seems to happen. You don't hear or see anything. There doesn't appear to be any movement inside of the, the warehouse that you're at. Gilly's going to have to try to cross. She's really nervous because she's never been one for uh, grace, shall we say. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, go ahead and roll stealth. And if you're in your armor, it's at disadvantage. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Woo! So you're you're very gingerly like testing the ground with your foot and you're going along and you think you're good and then you hear <laughs> as a board snaps. <laughs> and you stop for a second. Everything seems quiet, so you take another step, and you think you're good, and you <laughs> Sounds like you stepped on a cat for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> and you go along, and you, you're trying your best, and these noises aren't very loud as you go along. Not near as loud as Rowena's uh, fall that she took, but you're still making some noise as you go. What was yours? I got an 18. You just... An elf slash dampier, so. Okay, <laughs> so y'all get up to the front of the, the warehouse, and what are you doing from there? Gilly's going to make hand gestures. It's Maisie. <laughs> Rowena's going to light it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not read the handbook? The was... literal handbook. Wait, you got a, nobody gave me a handbook. Now is not the time to be squabbling. Do we light it on fire? No. Okay. No. Listen, not yet. At not, least. Not yet. Listen, listen, you ask me later on, maybe we will. And after we investigate a little bit, maybe we burn everyone inside and let God sort them out. That only seems fair. That does seem fair. Yeah, because because we're we're mortal, so we're flawed. So we we're full of biases. But the, the, the gods are able to judge people based upon their heart. So either we sent them to a good place or punishment where they deserve. But we have to get the information first before you burn it. Listen to me. All the gods I know are evil anyway. Uh, don't Maisie. worry, I've, I've talked her down. Maisie, I'm going to use my spider climb. You're going to use your whatever magical skill you have. We're going to climb up to one of windows that's a little higher up. Gilly, you and Rowena, you're going to knock on the door to get the attention of whoever is in there. Because as members of the Fangless, just make yourself known. Let them know that you're here for an inspection or something. Well, let's get in position first, oh, though. We're definitely here for an inspection. <clears throat> Gilly, if she stares too long at any one person, Hit her with the back end of your halberd. <laughs> the violence is always the answer. <laughs> Easy. Let me give you a lift. Uh, you're, you do that. I, I'm already up all, almost on the roof. Because <laughs> while, while you turn around, you do this and, and you do this. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> up on the and gutter. Then, but then just to spite Maisie, Sylvan just spider crawls right past you really fast. <laughs> and you get really and, and and you get grumpy for just a moment, but you but it makes you happy. <laughs> but <laughs> you can't tell him how to feel. I know. Maisie, you don't get to decide how Maisie feels about it. <laughs> but you you just see Sylvan crawl past you and I turn around and just give you a little bit of a snarky grin. And so Maisie, you know, turns and gives you, you one of those looks, you know, that you're like at first you're you know, really happy that, that you have sh shown her up, but then you're like did I just get added to a kill list? <laughs> sort of look. And then, and then, then <laughs> your happiness wavered for just a moment. <laughs> Maisie, before you ask me anything, yet yeah, no, I don't know how to fold a photo, fold a sheet. <laughs> so then we're we're in position. All right, where we can get into a window on top of the. And you just start hearing. <sighs> you can't quite make out what's being said. It's like really low murmuring. Okay. But nobody comes to the door. 
Gilly's going to announce that um, we're here for a su surprise inspection. We're coming in and tries the doorknob. Okay. And then you two, because they won't, there's not a window for them to see through. You two are up on top and there is a window. You have a drop of about uh, uh, 20 feet down from the window you're at. But when you're looking down in there, you see a uh, pudgier looking humanoid figure with blonde hair. And you see a couple of uh, three different figures uh, that are much smaller walking around. And as you see the profile of one of them, you see a long beak. Um, and then you notice that they're kind of moving in the same same general way. So you can kind of tell that they're the same species at least. Um, and they look like little raven people. Maisie's going to oil the parts of the window that would move and perhaps make noise. And then she's going to open the window. You're going to lubricate it, you said? Yes. Okay. All right. And then you're going to try the doorknob. Mm -hmm. It's stuck fast. Uh, do you want to try to push it in and try to push through the door? Absolutely. Or? Okay. Go ahead and roll me a strength check. Come on. Last is her thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, what, wait, the, what about that the, D10? That bardic inspiration I gave her on that what, video what's earlier. The, wait, wait, what's the total? What's the total? Um, On the reroll, let's see, 11. 11? Uh -huh. What was the first one? Was it higher? By one point. Okay. No, that, that's that's enough. This score is old and rickety. You're okay. able to, you're like, okay, maybe if I just kind of, and all of a sudden you. <laughs> it, it's, it's like their fence. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the post Gary went to like, hey, is this okay? <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, yes, you're able to lubricate the hinges, open up the window. Um, and from there, are you guys just dropping in? Or what are you doing? Uh, well, he's probably going to spider climb. I'll spider climb down. And either uh, I'm going to ride his back, or if he can't, he doesn't have <laughs> Please? the... Please? Okay. Come on, spider monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry I brought up Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I'm I'm gonna uh, ride him like a like a horse there. I, I wish I had a set little <laughs> saddle. <laughs> so why would you? You so don't you just, need a saddle to you, ride, you David. Around, it's you fine. You hug around like his rib, his ribs, and his like <laughs> up, lower chest. Well, if he's going to climb, I imagine he's not climbing this way, so I'm probably going to have to be on his back. Yeah, that's why I'm saying you're reaching yeah. around. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I, I'm I'm climbing. And luckily, climbing. luckily, Sylvan's thin enough that you're able to, like, lace your fingers together so you're a little bit stronger. So, okay. So you're climbing in. And, and crawling down. Okay, so. Because Gilly would have distracted them. Kind of dim in here. Um, as you all enter into this warehouse, there's just things all over, scattered all over. Excuse me. There are various bookshelves, uh, furniture, other such things that it looks like they're trying to fix it all up, almost patch it up, um, or they're taking things off of more valuable looking things. Like uh, some of these actually have like diamond doorknobs on the, like the cabinets mm. and stuff. Um, and they're trying to find whatever is the most valuable off of these things and take it off. And some things they're actually repairing. Um, as Gilly and Rowena, as you guys enter, this uh, portly um, blonde gentleman turns and looks at you both. Uh, very human. You can tell right away he's human. <laughs> Oi, what are you doing here? You're, it's nighttime. Why are you in investigating at night? Well, it's a surprise <laughs> investigation. So in order to surprise you, we had to do it when you wouldn't expect it. Roll a deception check for me. Besides, you're supposed to just show us your shop. You're not supposed to, or your warehouse, you're not supposed to complain. That's part of the surprise inspection. And I think we might have to mark you down on your attitude and chivalry. I'm trying to intimidate him. Okay for a 24. 
And what'd you roll for? I got an 11 because my dice suck tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so he looks at you first because you're, you're explaining to him and he's like, well, but I understand what a surprise inspection is, but usually it doesn't. Ha-. And then she says her bit. He's, okay. I, sorry, ma'am. I, but as you can see, we're just repairing some furniture. Do you have a permit for that? I, why do I need a permit to repair things? I'm a handyman. Are you a licensed handyman? He's He's got a check. It is he licensed? Is he licensed? (laughs) Maisie whispers in Sylvan's ear. Oh, I hate humans. So Maisie and Sylvan will notice the two little crow figures start moving in between the different objects. And they're like secreting themselves up towards the front where Rowena and Gilianthi are. You two will see that, you two won't. The guy's just sitting there talking with his hands up, you know. They're in position, I'm gonna fire an arrow. Okay. Okay, I, I want to move in such a way that I'm gonna be flanking. So if he's gonna be firing from that position, yes, then I'm gonna have to like um, continue along that, um, that path and then kind of jump out from behind that stuff. As you guys are all getting in position, uh, Rowena and Gilly, are you guys just staying up there? Are you going to approach the guy at all? Well, let's do your inspection. Do you have a license? Okay, I'll pay the fine. I don't have a license. I'm sorry, okay? I just didn't realize that was a thing. Gilly, do you have the paperwork to help this man get approved for a license? Of course I do. Of course you do. Pulls out the paperwork. Okay. So, roll initiative, everybody. Uh, Sylvan, you would be able to move before uh, Maisie would, though. Be able to do your attack first. Yeah. So, I got a 21. That will hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Seven. Okay. And then, Maisie, go ahead. Okay, so... I'm going to dual attack. And you just come up and you just quickly <laughs> right into it like his kidneys. Where, or where you expect his kidneys to be. Mm-hmm. Not the kidneys. They I, never stood a chance. What about the adult knees? I could have sold those. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah, to me. <laughs> that about the kidneys. Jeez. Roll me stealth really quick with this takedown. I want to see if the other guy will twinge it. 20? Okay. <laughs> so well, obviously, okay. obviously the, the one bird up in front, he's, he's focusing on these two. And you go up there and uh, the arrow hits <laughs> into the guy, hits into the little uh, raven-like creature. And right before it cries out, Maisie just sticks him really hard right below the rib cage where she likes to go. And he just dies breathlessly. Oh, Doesn't make so a sound. Funny. And Maisie just slowly... See him pulled off into the distance. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> and then off into the shadows. <laughs> that was awesome. Good teamwork, and, boys. And the, the little raven one is just like watching Gilly and uh, Rowena and the other, the uh, human back there guy. He didn't even see anything, doesn't even know anything was happening. Unfortunately for you, Maisie, you're going to be on your own. <laughs> the, the other guys broke up uh, your guys' thing. But uh, Gilly, Rowena, and Sylvan, you guys will be able to go now. I killed the other guy. We should try and get information out of this one. <laughs> well, we still have that raven left, you know, and then yeah, we, we question the filthy human after that. That's, well, I'm thinking Maisie can dispatch the raven. Okay. And I think the three of us should focus on taking mm-hmm. the human alive. So she handed him the paperwork to fill out. Did he start filling it out? Well, uh, you guys didn't tell me you were moving forward. You just had the paperwork. Yeah, did he start filling it out? Because she handed them to him. Uh, were you? Did you want to get up next to him to do this? Because um, I wasn't told that you were moving to him. Okay, which scares me the way the DM questions that. I know. But yes, I would move forward with my door <laughs> <laughs> to hand him the paper. I really hope somebody goes through and animates this someday, someday on YouTube. <laughs> so you you uh, start to approach him. He's... Hey, 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 I, I, it's okay, I'll come to you. You don't need to come back here. It's all good. 
I'll come to you, okay? I'm I'm gonna use uh, my full speed then and go another six squares. Okay. <laughs> I don't so this think this dragonborn you... paladin is just running up on him. I don't think you understand, sir. Like when we said we had to like. What are we doing? Surprise inspection. Yeah, we have to inspect. <laughs> I mean, we have to inspect. We're going to look at every nook, uh, every cranny, at every hidden okay. corner of your creepy Is there anything warehouse. Else you're going to do. You're, no, because that's, that's my movement, okay. right? You're, you're a big guy, if, or a big girl. If you, uh, if you had it, if that's all your movement, that's all your movement. Because if you had any extra, I would say run him over with the door. Because if he <laughs> says don't come any closer, that's awful suspicious, and that would turn into a full Boom. on. I'm trying to run. Yeah, could she run six and like, push the him. door to him? Um, no, mm. uh, because she doesn't have that ability per se to do that. Because she's dashing towards him at this point, so she wouldn't have enough time to be able to prepare to like bash into him. So Sylvan is actually at this point, he's still undetected. So I'm actually just gonna draw my rapier and I'm gonna just start walking up to him, and I'm going to ready in action. Um, Rowena. Oh, melee attack. Well, what what's the trigger though? You you get. Oh, a... I get to decide. Yeah. 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 Oh, if I see a weapon, I'm just going to. If he draws a weapon. If he draws a weapon, I will attack. Okay, sounds good. Um, Sorry, I didn't mean to not specify. Rowena's gonna use her form of dread, so I get temp HP, which is awesome. But he has to roll a DC save of thirteen or be frightened of me. He made it. Dang it. <laughs> Well, I still get temp HP, so that's cool. You see a visible chill. Like, what is your form of dread? How does it come out? She, oh she threatens to light him on fire. <laughs> my gosh, I just, what is it with you and the fire? Jeez. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rowena, she takes a couple steps forward because it's a bonus action, so I can still move. And she's gonna look dead in the eyes, and her eyes are gonna, they're gonna like glaze over black, completely solid black. And she's gonna say, You don't know who you're dealing with. God, it'd be really cool if I could like Missy step and be right in his face, but that's, I don't have that spell yet. Is that anything Anything else you're going to do besides that? Well, I can't light him on fire. I could cast Toll the Dead on him. Let's do that. Cast what? Toll the Dead. Oh. Take six points of damage. So you walk forward and you your form of dread uh, comes out and you just have this monstrous face, like uh, aura coming off of you. And he looks over at you and kind of weird. And then all of a sudden there's this ringing bell sound coming through that some of you can hear and the guy just holds his ears for a second and, ah, and his eyes go wide and he looks at Gilly he looks at you Rowena and he's like ah, okay it's time boys and with that it'll come to his turn and he is going to start dashing away so he's actually going to have to crawl over this so I'll take a dash is a straight line that's not obstructed. You can just use his normal movement. Well, I, but like running is what I'm meaning. Not necessarily dash. He's fleeing. He's fleeing the scene right now. Okay. I wasn't trying to be a wise guy or anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, though. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so he just starts bolting. However, that will, um, you didn't get right next to him. But you will have an opportunity attack. Sweet. To take it. Totally taking it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Holy crap! Not a fatal one. Not a fatal one. <laughs> a fatal one. Hey, you got no! your, uh, your reroll back. <laughs> she crashed oh, yeah. the ship. Oh no. You said one as I was rolling. <laughs> <laughs> the dice was listening to you. Well, Bad dice. So uh, you sw you go to swing as he's running away, um, and you're. <laughs> You just miss him. Uh, roll, roll a d20 again. Um, if you get lower than an 11, you'll be stuck in the floor. Your weapon will get stuck in the floor. I got a 14. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're not stuck in the floor. <laughs> okay, so he's dashing away, and then that brings us to Maisie. Now, he said, now's the time, boys. So does this thing try to make a move on my friends? 
you see that it's uh, getting ready to move and to spring into a- to action now. Because if it's going to move, I can get an opportunity attack. Then since it's my turn, I would get yet another attack. It hasn't moved yet. It's okay. getting ready to move. Plus, well, you're still you're out of still distance. hidden, so it's a s- and your turn. Yeah, your 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 turns is, before. You're technically a square away from him right now. Okay, but the one you killed is right between you and him. All right. Well, I'm going to try for another sneak attack. If he's unaware that I'm there, then I'm going to uh, uh, inviscerate him or her, or her. We eviscerate all equally here. <laughs> okay, no, he ha- you rolled really well in your stealth, so yeah, you would have advantage on this attack. Okay, so I'm going to do my dual attack thing again. Oh, well, that was... Uh, you have advantage. Yeah. I do have an advantage. So I got a, a, a 19, mm-hmm. and then I could Do I get advantage on my second one, too? Yeah, or? you have advantage on your attacks. <laughs> okay. Um, so I got a 19 and a 15. Do they both hit? They will both hit him. 25? 25 damage total? 25 damage total. Okay, describe how you kill this thing. <laughs> okay. The thing goes to uh, move for my uh, friends, and the first attack is a is an, an upward strike like I normally do to collapse the lung so it can't s- scream. But then I wait for it to um, turn around and look at me. I stab it right underneath the jaw so that so the knife comes out through the through its mouth and and I have the blade facing this and then I just pull it forward and down so it slices down its throat like this okay yeah it is down and you only used about 10 feet of movement to get to where you're at and is there anything else you want to do I'm going to be searching both these no, my friends might need me. I can come back for the search. So uh, then I'm going to then start moving stealthily in the direction where this uh, other guy had gone. Back this way? The quickest possible path to get to that guy. The quickest possible path is not being short. <laughs> mm, I'm actually quite tall for my um, my race, actually. That brings us back to the top of the round. Um, because both those guys are dead. <laughs> um, I think we should maybe have Sylvan, because you've got the arrows, the distance, right? Sh- should I just shoot him? Shoot him, but in a non-lethal If I declare location. where I'm aiming for, don't I roll disadvantage? No. No. If you're, you can shoot, uh, depending on what you roll for the attack, will depend, will dictate how lethal it will be. So if you roll lower or closer to his AC, it's going to be more likely it's going to be lethal to him. But if you roll higher than his AC, I'll say that you'll be able to get him in like the leg or something to be less lethal to him. All right. So I I will take aim with, I'll take aim with my bow mm-hmm. and I'll fire. Okay. 21. 21. Nice. Okay. That does a pretty good job. So I'll say that, yeah, you can, uh, you can hit. Are you looking for like. I'm, I'm aiming, uh, not the Achilles heel, but. What's the tendon on the back of the knee? TCL. Yeah, yeah. Like the ACL, the MCL area. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, roll your damage. I okay. couldn't remember the initials. If you can shoot through the cartilage and take out the patella, he won't be able to walk. That's your kneecap. Ten. Mm-hmm. Ten points of damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. I will say that will hobble him. Okay. So he won't be able to move as fast, um, but he is right by a door, so. Gilly, Rowena, move. Okay. And are, are you doing anything else? Uh, You're not even in a line of fire. <laughs> <laughs> I duck anyway. <laughs> Can you ready an action after fighting? You've already used your action. Correct. Right. Um, I'm just going to stay back to like Gilly and Rowena. Go forward. Go okay. clean it up. Am I in position to tackle? Um. Yeah, no, he's... If you can, you can see right here, he's a ways away and there's some uh, stuff in front, in, in between you two. If I you ran. You have a pole arm, though, so you could. I have a javelin. Oh, yeah. But he's already hobbled, though. Just hobble his other leg. All right. <laughs> or, or kill him. That works, too. Did you roll another one? No. She rolled a three. I was, somebody give her. Dude, grab one of. She's got a whole drawer full of dice. Someone give her another dice. <laughs> this, I'm, no, these are all in timeouts. <laughs> oh. She's I didn't, been timeouting all of her dice. You do have a reroll token again, though, because you're old in that one. <laughs> What's that? Seven. 
Well, what's your modifier on your attack? What is my... What are our... Let's see. Isn't thrown strength. So that would be a 10. That won't be enough to hit him, no. Could I... Would you I... like to add a d6? <laughs> that will be enough to hit him. How, how, yes. how many dice does Carrie need to roll tonight to <laughs> let <laughs> hit? It's not high enough to where you're going to be able to do what Sylvan did. Uh-huh. So go ahead and roll your damage. Nine. Nine points of damage, okay. Yeah. He uh, took the arrow through pretty much his calf, and then the javelin comes and strikes him like almost right here, piercing his shoulder. You th- uh, and it goes right through and kind of like sticks through onto the door in front of him. And he's, oh, you're no inspectors. Rowena's gonna run up to him and she's gonna make her eyes black again with, with, cause she can and it's cool. And she's going to say to him, no, we're not. We're your worst nightmare. Let's go have a chat. You want to be right as far as you can get to him? Because that, that's as far as you can get right now. Like in his face? It, you're diagonal from him. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else you wanted to Well, I would try and like, I don't know, I guess grab him and... Okay. Oh, and I forgot, uh, Gilly, did you want to move after your attack? Yeah. Okay, you just want to go over the stuff or do you yeah. want to go around the stuff? Okay. Practically just like step over it. <laughs> as tall as you are. And you want to try to grapple him? Okay. Roll um, athletics. Okay. Oh no. Okay. We're going to just. I, I succeeded! I grappled him with my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> she elastigirled it. I'm not going to even play with that one. He's so distracted by him. Damn, that teethling's got good boobs. He's so distracted. He can't even fight back. So you are able to grab onto him. Mm. You, uh, you just, you're able to hold him and he won't be able to get through the door without breaking your grapple okay. on his turn. You don't have him pinned down or anything, but you're, he's going to have to take time to try to get out of your grip. Okay. I think that takes History. everything you guys can do. So he will try to break your grip now. He's able to like pull his, his shoulder free, but he is hobbled. So he can't move quite as fast. Okay. So he does go in through the door and that's going to be what he does. But you do hear clumps of stairs as he goes through the door. So it sounds like there's a basement to this place. Okay. How rotted do these floorboards look? Um, the floorboards, uh, they're not very well taken care of. Because this is what I'm thinking. I, I have to decide quickly based upon what I'm seeing. Either I'm going to go and try to help my friends or I'm going to try to head this guy off and going to the basement by pulling up a loose floorboard or two and dropping down into the basement. Okay. Yeah, roll a strength check for me then. Okay, I got uh, I got an 11. It's not too hard. It has a little bit of resistance, but you're able to pull it up. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's enough room that you'd be able to slip through, albeit a little uncomfortably. Um, mm-hmm. As you peer down, it's pretty dark down there, though. There's, like, almost no light. Mm-hmm. So do you want to drop down? Yes. Maisie will drop down from where she's at. Quietly. I'm going to try to land like a cat. Meow. You're able to... Ninja like. <laughs> cat like. He said cat like. Cat ninja. I said ninja like. Cat ninja. <laughs> ninja cat. <laughs> As you drop down, uh, there's only a few kind of lanterns scattered sporadically throughout this room. Um, it's about the same size as the room you were just in. Mm-hmm. Um, looking around, there's a, a lantern. You see the stairs, and you can see him starting to come down the stairs. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, about where you're coming from in the more in the middle, there is a door directly to your left, about 20 feet away. But it's the only door down there. Well, I want to position myself in shadows, so um, he'll... I would be in striking distance, like you'd have to get past me in order to get to that door. So I'll say you'll be able to move in front of the door as soon as he starts getting closer to that door. Mm. Um, we'll see how close he can get to the door on his, his turn. Whoever 
has the highest strength should just jump on him and catch him. He he was hobbled, so. Well, so how far ahead of us is he? Um, like 15 feet. Oh, really? <laughs> he had to go downstairs. Oh, in front of them, but it's. Yeah, because uh, because of his hobbled hobbledness, the stairs are going to be difficult terrain for him. Then I'm going to just dash up behind him because I don't think I'll even get to him. Um, but I'm going to let these two move first because they were in front of you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, again, I would probably try to tackle him. Well, yeah, I was going to say I'm going to have Gilly tackle him like her. Okay. I don't have no strength. Um, do you want to like, like grapple? Yeah. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Uh, roll me your uh, athletics. That'd be a whole nine. Good. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> <laughs> so you're able to grab onto him. He's, <laughs> um, as you hold onto him. Okay. Okay. Uh, Rowena. Yeah, I just, we're just, we gotta get this guy tied up and dealt with, so. So you come down. Uh, are you gonna assist her in holding onto him? Yes, with my whole okay, negative ahead. one strength. Uh, roll an, uh, athletics for me. Nine. This is not my strong suit, guys. You're not, uh, with the way he's fighting with Gilly right now, you're not able to get a good handhold onto him to help Gilly hold him down and push him down to the ground. Okay. I, I assumed as much. I'm not good at this skill. <laughs> <laughs> you can't uh, attack or anything at this point. So Maisie, you see Gilly come running down the stairs. She's got him in a good grip. She's almost got him in a good headlock. What are you doing? I'm going to go up to him. Um, and I'm going to uh, grab his leg. And I want to slip my knife behind his patella, which is his kneecap, and then pull down, disconnecting oh. his patella, making his leg completely unable to be walked on. Oh okay. Gosh. Roll your attack with advantage. Does he does he pass out at this point? <laughs> I, I feel like you would pass out at this point. I got a 27. That'll hit him. <laughs> yeah. That'll do, pig. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do. Um, and I, I'm, I'm not... I'm not going for mass damage because I wasn't aiming for organs. Mm -hmm. So I'm not trying to. So I want to roll like, like a D4 or something because I'm not like. It's it's non lethal, so you won't kill him with it. But you can go ahead and roll the damage yeah. like normal. So I'm doing three points of of damage. All right, he is bleeding profusely at this point for you guys, um, mm. and we're out of initiative now. He is subdued. <laughs> <laughs> He can't reach for a weapon. He can't do anything else. And he's just, okay, just stop hurting me, please. What, what do you need? Why are you here? Why are you doing this? And with that, guys, we're going to end the session for the night. <laughs> Woo! I was gonna say, Maisie was going to say, we take doing repairs without a permit very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so, Crows, after following a few leads, you come upon a warehouse, and in this warehouse, you found some interesting things happening. Some furniture and other precious-looking materials are being refurbished, it seems. And upon the gentleman inside noticing what you're doing, he take he gets frightened and tries to run off. You successfully subdue him, and you know that at some point, or at, in some way, the Moon Lords are attached to these particular strings of crime. You have a mysterious note from somebody from your past, it seems. And Crows, with that, let's see where you fly to next. Good lord, didn't anybody here subscribe? Thank you. Into